Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Aronson, and I have clinical as well as personal experience with tuberous sclerosis complex. That's because not only am I a dermatologist who has diagnosed patients and interacted with families with tuberous sclerosis, I also have tuberous sclerosis myself. It is important to understand that though tuberous sclerosis, I will call it TSC, may include a variety of symptoms, you or your loved ones won't necessarily experience them all. Everyone is different, and people with TSC may lead fully functional lives. I, for one, have led a full life, professionally and personally, and I know that knowledge is power for patients and caregivers living with TSC. My hope is that you will use this video and other resources to educate yourself about this disease so you can face each day with increased confidence. I was diagnosed with TSC at the age of 23 after I had my first witnessed grand mal seizure. I had no prior inclination that I was suffering from this disorder. My mutations occur on genome chromosome 16. I had seizures until around 1982 and I've had none since. Two years ago, at age 57, I had a severe heart attack. I also have polycystic kidney disease. To be fair, I was slightly overweight and may not have exercised enough. However, my cholesterol was never high, my triglycerides were never high, so it was something else. Currently, I am dealing with kidney disease, though I am not on dialysis. Notably, I was diagnosed with adenoma sebaceum, also called facial angiofibromas, at around six years old when I was a child. These small red or white bumps are predominantly located on the cheeks and can also be seen on the nose, chin, and between the folds of the nose and the upper lip, and they're a major feature of TSC. In fact, this was probably the first clue that I had TSC.